My name is Andy Lay. I'm five foot nine, but I usually tell people I'm five foot eight. I'm Vietnamese American with an accent on American. My Vietnamese, a Lego set I've never finished. I stumble over the scattered pieces that act like the speed bumps to my stutters. I've been balding since thirteen, and I've been made fun of ever since. My hair strands fall like autumn leaves, only for people to then step on. My body, a desert terrain with sand dune acne scars. My eyes, always glued to the floor, forced to find beauty in the dirt but can't do the same whenever I look into a mirror. My voice, a monotone flat line rating on a heart monitor. My tongue, a double-edged sword that cuts my words in half. I'm not sure who gets hurt more in the end when I'm imprisoned by my own ego. I've inherited a rage in my bloodstream. I grew fire for bones. I'm still waiting for the day when this time bomb in my head explodes. I hear the tick, tick, talk every time I get ticked, tick. Oh. You see, when I was nine, I got so angry at my brother that I threw him onto the ground. I dug my fist into his chest, into his breath trembled, clinging onto the air like a lover's last embrace, never wanting to say goodbye, then with an earthquake in my throat. I asked him if he wanted to die. Until this day, I still can't remember why my fist became painted with red. Even now, whenever he sleeps next to me, I always check if he's still breathing, in case my body hasn't forgotten what it was made to do so I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do anything to temper with this temper. Hi, my name is Andy Lay, and I feel like a postmodern art piece waiting for someone to give me meaning. I'm infatuated with watching ink reflect light whenever I do calligraphy. It reminds me that even something so dark can hold onto something so bright. Just for a moment, I write love poems with no one to give them to, but maybe one day, I'll write something beautiful and dedicated to myself. <laughs>